Hey guys, how's it going? Joster here. So I am back with another Kabu Mantis 8 video. So this is going to be like a short update of what I have. My experience has been with this uh, awesome scooter. So I'm right here at the uh, San Diego Balboa Park. It's right next to the San Diego Zoo. I wanted to show you some uh, accessories that I have uh, added to the scooter. So first of all, I added this phone mount, which I also bought one for my Eagle Barla Eagle One scooter and I like it a lot because it not only holds the phone, the phone really really firmly, it's really s sturdy, but also it holds my GoPro camera right here and it's super useful because I get to mount the camera and hold my phone at the same time. And then over here I also added this headlight or flashlight which it's really nice, it's made of metal, so it feels very, very high quality. And it's also very bright. I'm gonna show you a little bit of how it looks at night. All right, so here I am with the scooter at night. I'm gonna show you how the lights from the scooter look, which they actually pretty look, look pretty cool. Look at this, they are bright. Oh my goodness, they are bright enough for people to see you. And if you press the brakes, all of them flash front and rear that's pretty awesome let's turn on the signal light and yep each signal light and even the leds right here so you will know that you have your signal on there you go now let's turn on the flashlight that i purchased voila look at that it is bright now it has different functions so that's the high beam you press it once and that's sort of like a medium beam and then there's a low beam you press it again and it turns off let's turn it on back again if you press it twice fast there's a strobe light again there's a strobe light but it's a little slower press it again and there's another sort of like a flashing light. It takes a few seconds to turn on and off. There you go. And then you press it again. And it goes for the high beam. And you press it and hold it. And it turns off everything. Now what if we mix up everything? You know, the lights from the scooter. Plus the high beam or the flashlight. And voila! You can ride at night. Then over here, another cool thing is that this controller also has a USB port. So you can either charge your flashlight because this one has a USB Type-C uh, charging port. Or you can charge your phone as well. So let me connect my phone. There it is. And as soon as I turn on the scooter, then the phone is already charging as well so yes 
I can charge my phone while I'm riding the scooter. Isn't that cool? Just going to disconnect it right now. I'm gonna turn it off right now. And yes, guys, so, so far that's what I have done. I also mounted my 360 camera right here with this bracket. I wanna see how the picture turns out when I'm riding the scooter like that. All right, so let's get a ride along. Let's do this. And what a nice day. So I fully charged the camera. And I also fully charged the uh, scooter. So we should be fine. We're gonna go through here. Yes. So, so far the scooter has been doing great. I mean, it has 37 miles and I haven't gotten any issue whatsoever. Now I'm able to hit up to 25 miles per hour, even though I weigh 240 pounds. The scooter dual 500 watt motors have enough power to carry me. Now, even though I put it to the extreme test here on a very steep hill and it barely made it to the top. This is a really steep hill. Oh my God, I can barely make it. I am not making it. I'm gonna need some help. Oh god. Five miles. Wow, this is very, very steep. Hello. But it made it. Oh my god. It barely made it. Whoa! Going up hill too. Now the braking system is mechanical, but it has very good stopping power. Now with that being said, there are a few complaints I have or maybe some limitations I should say. Now, number one will be the suspension. Now, I wish this was a little softer because the ride can be very rough sometimes. Now, I feel every bump on the road, like every little rock, so the scooter feels great on a flat surface, but as soon as you hit some gravel or some obstacles, then everything just changes. Now, another thing I don't like is the battery life and range. Now it comes with a 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery, which is very small for me or for my weight, I guess. And also that there are many hills around where I live. So I get around 10, maybe 12 miles tops but that's me driving on gear tree with turbo, dual motor all the time. Now, those are my only complaints so far. The scooter is awesome. The paint job looks fantastic. The material feels very premium, very good quality. The stem feels solid. There is no wobbly while driving, which is very, very good. Now, the lights also look awesome at night. They are very bright. It even has LEDs at the bottom and turn signal. I mean, how cool is that? Also, the front cargo bag looks great too. I mean, there are so many positives. And also, the price is great too. I mean, it sells for $1,100. But there's a discount code that saves you $150. So the price drops to $950. So that's basically under $1,000, which is great for the performance that you're getting. So if you're interested in buying the Mantis 8, check out the link in the description and also the discount code so you can save $150 while it's still available. Alright guys, so enjoy the rest of the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. I'm Joster and I'll see you guys on the next one. Joster out. Uh, more museums over here.
and this is nice. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can go through here. Go through the streets right here. 